c'est Guy. Tomioka. Guy. C'est pas Guy. Non, c'est Guy. Arrête! <rire> je le sais, c'est quoi la joke, mais non, stop. <rire> Guy. 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 Non, c'est Guy. 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 Pierre. <rire> ok, non, pour vrai, là. Hey guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Foster Kajin Cosplay and today we're back against guys with Demon Slayer episode 24. Yes, last episode we met the Ashiras, we bargained with the Ashiras, we bit the Ashiras. Well, Almost. no, no. <laughs> we proved them that Nezuko wasn't a threat thanks to our girl who just managed not to eat someone. <laughs> she had the bloodlust, but she she stood strong and she didn't do shit, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and we met the master of the place, who basically told everyone that Kibutsuji met Tanjiro and that uh, he's, he's sending people or demons after he him. He basically said, this guy is the main character, so don't kill him up right now. No, but he's the bait. He's sort of the bait. <laughs> And yeah. uh, he's been told to prove, uh, Tanjiro's been told to prove his, uh, uh, that they can trust him. So he needs to go out there and kill one of the, the Kizuki, an actual one this time. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah. we, we know that season two is going to be coming very shortly. So we're excited for that. And we will watch the movie after season one. So you can look forward to this. And uh, aside from that, I think now we're just gonna have three episodes of recovery, hopefully. Growing limbs back. For Zenitsu, <laughs> yes. And oh. dealing with depression for Inosuke. Yeah. Character so growth okay. though, like it's character growth that's gonna lead him somewhere, so. Maybe we can make friends with some of the Ashido who are on our side. Yeah. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Let's jump in this episode, see what they have in store. All right. Introducing new characters is always <laughs> a good way to introduce <coughs> tragic <coughs> backstories. True. So yeah. It's it's true that we sometimes tend to forget that Tanjiro didn't only have Nizuko in his family. He got his mom, his dad, his a uh, younger brother and sister who were all killed by Kibutsuji. Yeah, but I think, I, I've said it before, I feel like the difference between Tanjiro and all the others who lost people to demons is that his sister has turned into a demon. So his relationship with demons is already pretty different, considering he, he knows someone who, who used to be human, who's now, you know, part of that group. And he cannot, if he faults all demons without taking into consideration who they used to be and what they used to be, what they used to do, then he needs to do the same thing with his sister and he cannot do that. So I think that because of that, automatically he opens his heart a lot more when facing demons. And there's also his nose, who basically tells him a lot about uh, the true emotions of, de of demons. Because it's true, they act like animals, you know. Uh, they are being hunted, they, they do eat, you know, humans and they drink blood and stuff for survival, for to, you know, to stay strong. Some of them find maybe... A, a sadis sadistic, you know, pleasure in doing it. Yeah. But maybe, you know, they became this because, you know, you know, sometimes we say, you know, people will treat you as a monster. So after a while of everyone saying you're a monster, you're going to become a monster. It could be that for some of them, like some, some might not have a choice. Some are being controlled. Some try to be different and then they get treated like monsters anyway. So it, it's more complicated than just saying all demons are bad. So I get, I'm, I'm on Tanjiro's side, you know, giving them the benefit of the doubt, considering the possibility it's there. But then you've got someone like Shinobu who's been trying for the sake of her sister's memory, which is very sad, by the way, because she's basically been putting on a mask every day, all day, for, you know, to kind of keep her sister alive. And that mask is taking its toll on her because she's basically... She's got two sides of her, the one that wants to do what her sister wanted and the one that, that's angry that, yeah. that demons kill her sister and, and killed innocence. So they're kind of worrying all the time and that mask is covering it. So I get why she's, she's tired. I get also why she was basically looking at that demon before uh, on the mountain and asking, you know, oh, we can be friends, I, and, uh, but I have one condition. Basically, I'm gonna make you suffer like crazy for all the stuff you, for all the people you killed. And then after that, we can be friends. So it's the side of her yeah. that wants to hurt that demon, 
that says that. Yeah, you could say that she wants to find a way for you management to co-live together, but she's not that bothered about if, by it if well, they, they she can't. can't. She can't forgive them for, for killing innocents, because that's the side of her that's that's angry all the time that you know she lost her sister and that she keeps seeing people meeting meeting people that lost loved ones to demons so it kind of reminds her of her sister all the time so i think that if the demons you know kill humans it's already hard for her to forgive them but then if you add to that the fact that you know they lie about how many humans they kill they don't put value to human life and you know they, they act like demons she hates them more and more. So then that's when the smile turns into uh, something that's kind of terrifying. Like the, the side of her that we thought was freaky. Mm -hmm. and, but knowing why, like knowing the backstory behind this is very sad. And it makes a lot of sense. So now we get to, to look at her smile and understand it a lot more. We get to look at how she can act like a, a sadistic person sometimes with demons and, and understand. And we get to understand why she wanted to kill Nezuko too. Even though she says she wants to be friends with demons, it's not her wish. So I get it. It's, I'm glad that we got to see that insight because some people were saying online that Shinobu was their main, one of their favorite characters. And I was like, really? I don't see it. Not yet. But then I get to hear the backstory and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and that makes me very excited well, for the backstory. Once you read the backstory, everything is fine. And you say to go, oh well, my god, I love that character. Well, not maybe not love, but because she's not my favorite character so far. But maybe not love, but understand. And understanding a character is the first step towards loving that character. So that makes me very excited for all the backstories of all the other Ashidas that we can get. Because the more characters <laughs> yeah. we have, the more chances for I sad stuff. I do wonder, stuff. what's the backstory for the guy who always seems so so happy and so passionate about what he's doing? You were saying you wanted, you, you don't want to see him angry. I don't want to angry. see him angry because he's never <laughs> funny his eyebrows. But then, no, he, so he what was, was grunting last episode, I think. Yeah, he, but he was still smiling and hyper happy about it. Well, not smiling, but his eyebrows are always like... Yeah. This, like, so I don't want to see them go down, you know? <laughs> well, he's fire, right? He's fire, Ashira. He's got... I mean, I wanted to say it last episode when I was editing too, but basically all the Ashiras kind of have a personality that matches their breathing style. You look at Gyu, who's water. He's very calm. He's very... But then when you, when you, you piss him up and he, he has to fight, he's... He's, ruthless, you he's know? He's come to waterfalls, yeah. Like, he's badass as fuck. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah, his personality, very calm. You know, he's not imposing or anything. He doesn't lash out as, as, as much as we've seen. Uh, you look at the, the fire one, uh, he's, he's all fire and energy. Uh, he's, uh, he's speaking, he speaks loud, you know, he... He projects a... Pre he has a presence that... He, like, he's, he's, when he's in the room, you cannot, you know... <laughs> Forget him. So that's that. Yeah, I know. Serpent guy, snake guy, same thing. You know, these their personalities match their breeding style a, a lot. So I think it gives us an insight into what to expect from these guys in the future. So that's going to be cool. And he's, 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 I think he's leaving for the movie. I'm pretty sure he's the, guy, the main guy on the poster for the movie. So I think we left for the events of the movie. So I don't know nice. if season one introduces the movie. But this this did a little bit. I think. Who knows? We see a cheap is to watch, so maybe Two, we'll see. Yeah. We don't know yet. Huh, but yeah, the the training. I <laughs> training is always important. Training is always gonna you know matter in shonens like this. Always. And it help it helps to see you know how the the characters will evolve in their own different ways. I feel like right now you've got Zenitsu and Inosuke who shine in short moments. You know they. You know, you've got Tanjiro and Yunosuke who got beaten up and then Zenitsu came in and his love of women made him shine for a sec with the training, well, the, the rehabilitation yeah. training. And he pumped Inos Inosuke up. Inosuke came back for a short while. So they both shined, you know, they shined for a brief moment, kind of like lightning, you know, they shined and then whoop, they lost it. But what Tanjiro has is not a shining moment where he beats all. He does have that sometimes, but mm -hmm. most of the time, what Tanjiro's strength is that he persists. You know, he will get beaten down, but he will push through and keep trying. You so. know, speaking about that, it reminds me of people who has to do uh, physical rehabilitation, just for example, just like our mom. And some people sometimes will focus on the negative side 
of those training, mm -hmm. like the the pain, the 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 time that it takes to uh, practice and gets better, and people will see the positive side about it, and usually the, those things will help them uh, to be healthy again faster because they they're not booting about it. Yeah, you know? I I I can understand it. Like I've only ever done physical therapy for my finger. <laughs> Who uh, I broke my finger when I was younger, so and I had to act do actual physical therapy for it, which was weird. But yeah, I did that. So th I did not get that sense of oh shit, I'm so weak. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, I mean, but some people like I get it. Like you're an athlete, for example, and uh, you break you break your knee. You used to be in a uh, you know a star. You used to to be so good at your sport and then suddenly you can't even walk on your leg without with, without it hurting mm -hmm. so you do physical therapy and they they ask you to do stuff that is so that seems so little you know so unimport unimportant you know it's it's little stuff that you used to do like you used to run 10 10 miles every day and now you can't even take one step something like that and it pushes your morale down a lot it makes you feel like you're weak it makes you feel like uh, you're worth nothing anymore. It makes you feel like you will never get back to what you used to do. In this case, I think it's not only the wounds, but also the fact that they lost on the mountain. Like, uh, Zenitsu shot, you know, he shined. He, he had his moment, but he almost died from it. If it wasn't for Shinobu, he'd be dead. Yeah. So, and Inosuke is the best example of, of what I just said in this. He lost. He thought he was strong and he lost. And now he's being, you know, helped by those girls who make him feel even more weak than what he already felt because of his loss. But so yeah, it's harsh. Let's not forget that for Inosuke, Inosuke, a huge part of his personality is, is uh, I, I don't want to say ego, but in his mind, he's the strongest. Like he has like to the, be. He's the strongest guy in the room, yeah. if it's not the universe. <laughs> so for him yeah. to lust and be helpless against little girls, that will be not as... Um, well, it's like I said, a reminder. A bit, you know? It's like I said, it's like you used to do so much, so much better, and then now you're forced to do little, little things that are so difficult, and it reminds you of how weak you really are right now. Mm -hmm. It pushes you down, it breaks you, and it's tough. But then you, it, they're they're lucky to have a guy like Tanjiro who is used to feeling like this. He feels bad, he feels down, and then he pushes through, and he. he Breaks limits, basically. And he's there to just hold their hands and help them move forward. Well, not for not for now, because they don't they don't listen. But no. it will happen. <laughs> but once you learn that new thing about the breathing style, they're gonna pull. pull like, I found through. something that's gonna make you so much stronger. You just know Inosuke's gonna run to train. Yeah. <laughs> Teach me. And Zenitsu's gonna follow. But then Zenitsu Zenitsu has so much skill. It's just that he he doesn't use it in the right moments. Like whether when he's asleep, he shines. When he's he's surrounded by girls, he Besides, shows up. I mean, yeah. he, sh he he'll brag a little bit, you know, about his abilities. But mm -hmm. he needs to do that in every fight. <laughs> he's got the skills. It will happen, hopefully. But for now, it's asking too much of him. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so training episode. We're introducing season two. We're introducing the movie. I feel like, and and we're glimpsing at the next step for Tanjiro Inosuke and Zenitsu. So I'm excited. I can't wait for him to explode that jar. Yes, it will happen, probably. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next episode right away, it is on Patreon already, or it will be very soon. Check it out if you want. The link is in the description below. And if you don't, with the next one to be up out on YouTube next week, guys. So yes. don't forget to subscribe to watch it now. Mm -hmm. uh, well, next week. To keep, you know, tabs on what we put online and stuff. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye, guys.